YouTube fam. Um, I'm actually here at a last chance store here in my hometown. It's actually at our local mall, which is kind of crazy, but um, yeah, I'm actually not at the thrift store today. Um, thought I would change it up a bit and come here on a Monday, um, see what they got. Um, it is $5 day. So anything that you find at the bins um, is going to be $5. And um, it's pretty much a Amazon return overstock store. So I see a lot of, um, of course, Amazon returns and then also um, Target overstock stuff or clearance items. So I don't usually get a lot of those type of items. I like go for the Amazon stuff. So anyways um just wanted to take you along i probably won't video uh, too much in the store but i'll definitely let you know um what i got today so anyways um let's go check it out getting ready to go into the amazon overstock store and gonna get my handy dandy gloves on here so i don't cut up my hands. I've done that before. I'm going through things pretty fast and uh, you tend to um, get cut by boxes or plastics or whatever. Um, so yeah, getting my gloves on. And then also I've got sling bag here. And then I also got my mask because I'm highly sensitive to dust, so definitely be wearing this today. All right, got my mask on. Got my handy dandy tart here. Able to carry a lot of stuff. Let's go check it out, guys. There it is. $5 day, baby. Let's see what kind of gems they got today. I just got done at the bins. I was in there a good two hours. Unfortunately, didn't find too much today. Um, but we did get this um, pack of three. Um, I guess it's for men. They're thinning hair. Um, should bring in about $40. Paid $5 for that. So everything today was $5. Um, so I also got these two books. Um, this one should go for around 40 or 50. Um, same with this, maybe upwards to $80. Um, and then I also just got this for personal use, um, a bag for the bins. So nice heavy duty one. So anyways, that's all I got today. Um, and hopefully we do better next time, but I don't think it was too bad, honestly, considering I got two books that were worth you know, together for over a hundred dollars plus that forty, so hundred and fifty ish dollars, so not too bad for twenty bucks. So all right. See you next time. Good morning YouTube fam. It is early morning, eight o'clock, and I'm here at the thrift store actually here pretty early um, even the donation trucks are still here yeah so I had to get up quite early this morning um, had to take my husband to uh, the bus stop today so I could use the car to go thrifting so um being up this early and uh with a new time change uh over the weekend um it is um quite dark in the morning when we were leaving but as we were driving there was an absolutely beautiful sunrise so that made it all worthwhile getting up at the crack so anyhow 
um, here at the thrift store. It's about eight o'clock and um, have about an hour to wait. But um, excited to get in there to find some gems today. Let's go see what they got. All right, finally getting in the store here after an hour of waiting, but definitely was worth the uh, wait because we end up finding some good stuff today. Yeah, like this bag of little people hanging on the rack here. Yeah, I love picking up little people too. I've done really well in the past with them. Hold up, is that what I think it is? I don't know, what is it, honey? It's Pottery Barn. You are right, and it is half off today. Definitely grabbing this one. Look, another set just for me. Yeah, that's cool. Didn't you get this half off too? Yep, 20 bucks. So this one definitely will sell well, just like the other one. Looking at the dishes now, and uh, I'm always looking for Corel, and I actually found some today, right about here. <laughs> so these were actually in like $3.99. Yeah, I know our family loves Corel, and it lasts for a very long time. Yeah, we only broke like two. All right, guys, here is our cart. Um, there is some shampoo and conditioner that you didn't see me picking up but we will definitely go over it in the hall along with all the other goodies, so stay tuned. Oh yeah, honey black milk tea with boba. Shake for life. All right, just got back from the thrift store and it's raining, so I'm gonna hurry up and try to get all these goodies that we bought today um, into the house to show you for the haul. All right, I filled my back seat here. Actually, our back seat of our car. I'm sure my husband's gonna love this, but get it out before he sees it all. Just kidding, honey. Anyways, I'm going to get all the stuff in. All right, uh, welcome back, and uh, just gonna get in the haul here today. So it was a pretty small haul for me. Um, considering it was a Tuesday uh, today going to Valley. Um, they usually do have quite a bit of stuff that I'm able to get and flip, but um, today must have just been an off day, but I actually was able to get a lot of personal items. Um, me and my husband are flying out to uh, Indiana in a few weeks uh, to visit our daughter and son-in-law and our grandbaby. And um, we actually, don't have much like winter um, stuff since we live in California. It doesn't get crazy cold here. Well, we think it's cold, but back there, it's really cold. I can't feel my fingers anymore. I lie, they're, 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 they're numb. Ooh. Maybe you should wear these extra gloves. My hands are starting to get sweaty. Extra gloves? So anyhow, um, I was able to score a lot of personal items. I was just going to show you a few. So I have more back there, but I won't bore you with all of that. These are just a couple things that I really thought were cool that I ended up getting. Um, I got this puffer vest for my husband. Um, it was only eight bucks, but I figured it'll be nice. He can wear um, like one of his turtlenecks or his turtleneck sweaters, mock neck sweaters underneath it to keep warm. So I really liked that. And then I actually saw this the other day when I was at Valley and I didn't buy it. I put it back because um, it was $13. But then I was looking online after I left and I, there was just nothing that compared. I loved, absolutely love the print on this. I love the Aztec tribal boho look. This was definitely up my alley. But anyways, I went back today and I was super excited when they actually had this. Um, and I was happily willing to pay the $13. Um, it is a Eddie Bauer, which is an all right brand, but I didn't care. It's it's more just like I said, personal use uh, fleece, super warm. Um, I love the th three quarter zip and then also it's got, 
you know, the really nice comfy um, pocket for your hands. So I thought this was super, super nice. Absolutely love that. And then next up I got this really cute, um, the great outdoors. Love the colors on this. Um, I love thermals and especially being in the cold, this should keep me warm underneath my jacket. Yeah, so I got that. And then I also was looking for a scarf. I don't normally wear scarves, but like I said, it's gonna be cold out there. It might even snow, fingers crossed, hope it does, because we don't get that here. Yeah, so I was able to find this really, really cool, um, what do they call this? Uh, an infinity scarf. Yeah, that's it. Infinity scarf. I love the colors. I love the neutral colors. Yeah, so I actually had gotten the Columbia jacket on Amazon. Um, it's a puffer. It's a long puffer jacket. It's cream. And so this will look perfect, with, especially with um, some of the items that I did get. So anyways, enough of the boring personal items. I know you guys want to see what I got for to uh, flip on eBay. So First stuff I got was this bag of Little People. Um, so lately, I mean, everything has gone up in thrift stores, especially our thrift stores. And, um, you know, no exception to the Little People. They usually have like 10, 15, 20 dollars on bags of Little People, which is absolutely insane. But anyways, I found this one, $3.99. Um, I picked it up because it was unique. I've never seen the Thanksgiving Pilgrim one. Um, I actually had a few years back, well, probably about a year and a half ago, I found a, a scene that was similar to this. And it, uh, it did have the box. I did pick it up for like under $5 and I was originally thinking to get it for my grandson, but my daughter's like, well, just see how much it costs. And if it's worth flipping, then just flip it. He doesn't need it. I ended up picking that up for under $5 and flipped it for like, gosh, it was like $250, which was absolutely insane but such a great score. So this kind of reminded me of this. And so I did look up comps without the box um, and it looks like it might be missing a piece or two. And then it's also got, I think an extra piece, maybe uh, Jesus uh, from the manger, something like that. They were selling them um, to piece it out on eBay. So that's probably what I'll do. I'm not sure if I'll like just group it together and sell it as a set or I'll sell them individually. So that was super cool. I always like photographing this type of stuff. I love toys, so that was fun. Next up I got, actually I got two sets of, you guessed it, Pottery Barn. These actually, they had a price for $40. It's a, King Duvet, and I think the same person must have donated these. Um, they're both Kings. They're both Pottery Barn. They both came with two of the Pillow Shams. Excellent, excellent condition. And they both have like the bird floral greenery thing going on. Yeah, so anyways, I know people love their bird. This was actually priced at 40 like I said, but today was half off, so... I was happy to buy these for $20 for the set. I haven't looked up comps. I didn't even look up comps because I know it's Pottery Barn. It's probably going for around $100 easily. So, and, and being a king might be even going for more. Pottery Barn always sells really, really well for me. And I always get a ton of it. So that was super, super cool. And then this is the other set here. Um, that was 20. This one also has a bird on it. Very, very pretty. I actually really like this one. I do more of the rust orange and cream in my bedroom, so that's obviously wouldn't go, but if I were to do a bird theme, this probably would be it. I absolutely love this. So it came with the two pillow shams. I believe this is a king as well. And then here's the duvet. So, and this one actually had like an inner part too. It was an extra inner piece to it. So that might raise the value. 
who knows anyways pottery barn awesome awesome find here and yeah hopefully i'll be able to sell these quick since these things are big and bulky and i don't like to store them but since you make a lot of money on them i can't complain and then i got this set of corral dishes we personally use uh, corral dishes we absolutely love them because and when our kids were growing up, we would drop them and they wouldn't break because they're corral. So um, I have to admit, we probably have broke one or two in the last 25 years that we've owned them. Yeah, they're just great. And they're great resale. Um, and I've never seen this pattern before. It's black. Um, so it's really, it's really a pretty pattern. Uh, it's a black floral. And um, they're definitely used, but it comes with a set of uh, four dinner plates, four um, dessert or salad plates, and then also the four bowls. They were only $3.99, which is crazy. Um, if I didn't have a set of them, I would keep them. Since we live tiny, I can't, you know, have a ton of dishes. We only have like four of each anyways, and that's, that's pretty much our max. Um, otherwise, we'll explode out of our cupboards. These, um, I will probably sell as a set. So, see how they do. I would say easy 35, even maybe 40, upwards to 50 for the set. So, that would probably be with free shipping. Super excited about these. It's not too hard to uh, list or... Well, they are kind of hard to ship. They're not going to break as easy as glass, obviously. So, I mean, I will package them well. I don't worry about these too much um, during shipping. Now, if it was a set of dishes, I would be more hesitant to buy something like that. Unless it was like a really higher price, like in the hundreds to sell. That's that. And then, lastly, I got these. I followed the lady that brought out more stuff on her cart. I saw these, they always tend to like bundle like these tons of like, they usually come from like hotels. So they'll just bundle all of them together literally for like what? Two bucks, $1.99 you get all of this. And then I was able to get two. So I did look up this brand online on eBay and I can't remember what it was called. Let's see. Okay, it's called the Luxury Fior Aqua. Aqua. Um, yeah, so anyways, I saw, you know, they don't sell terribly well, but they don't do too bad either. So, you know, something in the middle range there. So they might sit a little bit, but I figure I can bundle several of them together, make lots of them should do very well considering it only cost me four dollars for both of these so i i'm predicting probably a good 80 to 100 at least make on uh, make my uh money back plus you know a really really good profit so yeah so these were super cool all brand new of course easy to list easy to ship and i think that's it and that was the the last of my haul like i said it was um a very quiet day. I did spend the same amount of time I normally do in the thrift store, like three hours. But that's because in our store, the ladies bring up, st bring out stuff like constantly, like every few minutes they're bringing out clothing racks and shopping carts full of like hard goods or toys or what have you. So you want to be obviously first to see those and to grab them when they put them up on the shelf. So Anyways, that's that's usually the longest part of the of my thrift time there, but it always pays off, so can't complain. Anyways, um, super fun, always enjoy it, and I hope you guys learned something new today. If you did, please give us a like. Please support our channel by subscribing. Show us some love. Next time, until we thrift again, see you on the flip side.